Hi Taurus, this is your reading for um, the 2nd to the 8th of March. This is your reading for the 2nd to the 8th of March. And I'm using the Oracle of Vision decks. And I'm taking the, well, no. you saw me shake, but I'm going to shake even more. And if the one is supposed to come out, that will come out. The one that just came out already has come out, so I don't think I shook well enough. Okay, it is this deck that I'm using by Giro Manchetti. And I'm using the Oracle deck uh, of the Fantasy Cats. And I've made a review on it, so if you want to go and watch it, and do by all means. These are the attitude cards. I'm not using the season cards, okay? And that way up. I just have to place them like this. I will rearrange them because I haven't got too much room. So, and then the 15 oracle cards of the cats. So here we go. That one stuck out. This is a reading that I just invented myself. There's no specific reason. I haven't seen anybody else use it. It's just something that I have designed. I like to keep uh, the excitement for myself there because um, it gets boring if you do the same thing all the time. So long you get the meaning, that's the most important thing. And if you're a new watcher, welcome. And please subscribe and hit that bell just there. <clears throat> then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live every night, unless there's something that comes in between. Um, and you can get a free card. But you can also get super chat or do super stickers if you would like to skip the line or if you would like to have a specific answer to a question. Specific, if you need to ask a question, you can get an answer with a three card spread and an oracle card. Now, let's get started. Before we get started, just in this corner right here, you can see a white circle with an eye in it. If you click on that, then that will take you straight to charliesangeltarot.com, the website, and have a scout around there. I've been pretty busy with the readings, um, so I haven't um, done anything new yet this week, but there will be regular updates. Now, you've got this card. Curiosity, comparisons, and dissatisfaction. It's a lot like the Four of Cups. Okay, and obviously you might be too much in your head. You might just be in a crystal ball, like this is um, depicted. The mermaid is in the crystal ball, and she is dreaming, and she's just hanging in there. She's got her eyes closed and she's using, using this either as, um, you can't see it, I think, but she's got her eyes closed. Perhaps you can. But she's got butterflies around her and um, a little dove. The dove is just in front of her, just there. She's looking Perhaps she's gazing to the dove. She wants peace and quiet. She wants to be shut off, and that's why she is in her mind. Okay. She's in space. That's what comes to me. She's thinking about things or dreaming about things. Perhaps she's used a crystal ball like I do. I used a crystal ball with white light, surround myself with white light to protect myself. Perhaps she's dissatisfied with something and needs to think things through. One of the most tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. 
we are all dreaming of something magical, a rose garden over the horizon, instead of enjoying the roses that are blooming outside our windows today. This is card number 50, like I said, and that means you're not quite in balance. We are driven at first by curiosity and then by dissatisfaction to consider alternatives to our present circumstances. The grass appears to be greener on the other side of the fence, or so we believe. And so it is, with this visual take on the tail of the little mermaid, the glass sphere pro pro the crystal bowl is the, uh, the glass sphere um, provides her with the, a means of briefly experiencing another world, and much like the vocation away from home, or brief foray into a different life style, the experience can prove to be intoxicating. It may turn out to be something that leaves us discontent, or it may provide the impetuous to move on and make such changes permanent. But we should be wary and consider carefully whether we will truly belong in this new environment. We should try to judge it from what it would be in reality. The attraction and appeal of those brief encounters may not survive a lengthier commitment. So in other words, you might long to have a better life like somebody you know, but you're comparing yourself to somebody else and their situation. My mum used to say, if we threw our cross, our burdens on a pile, then we would still pick up our own cross. Why? Because we know what it is and that we can cope with it. And there's many that say, you only get what you can cope and carry with. That is your lesson in life. So never look at somebody else's garden because your garden is meant for you. I think that's awesome. You can use the crystal ball so long you use it like a, a white crystal ball with selenite, for example, or white uh, quartz. And that will help you to be protected. Now, for Monday, Monday the 2nd, you have for attitude card desiring to belonging. You desire to belong with somebody or in some place, in an, a group, in an area you wish you could belong. And the car, uh, card, te, um, the cat card is climbing and it's number 13. It also means fellowship, friendship. So you wish to belong to a group of friends. Now the action that you could take is put one foot in front of the other. Advice is the higher the view, the better the options. The higher you go, the broader the view. Move vertically to chart your progress. Dig deep and no matter the, chain, uh, the, the dangers above or below. Only those who risk reaping dazzling rewards. Race ahead of the pack to scout out new possibilities and safe havens. Find protection in the height. Seek wisdom at the tallest vantage point. Do not waste thoughts on the return journey. Trust the path you need will unfold. Go only as far as needed. Reserve energy and resources to see what you need to see. Stop access and move forward. Treasures await and are often found in unlikely places. A 
allies appear with synchronicity. When you need them, the support you require is a life like the tree beneath the cat's claws. Trees and cats have different time experiences than humans. Remember your perception of life is but a single perception among many. Be still enough to look through the eyes of an other person. Place or thing to gain new perspective. Look beneath the surface to illuminate the mysteries within. Stop and enjoy the view. Keep your goal in mind always. Yet be open to interesting twists and turns. So keep focused on what you wish and what you want. Be careful what you wish for. And it is really magical because we've got the attitude part belonging to and we've got the five of pentacles. You feel out of sorts. Perhaps you feel left out. And Matus is sitting on my card. Come on down. Not on the cards. There you go. Sorry about that, guys and girls. So you've got the five of pentacles. But remember, like in the cat card, climbing. When you need help and protection, they are there. You only have to learn and look and see. Like with the five of pentacles, the universe and the angels have your back. It is short-lived, okay? It is short-lived just keep going on your path and keep an open mind. And join groups. Make friends. Go out there. For attitude card number two, that is Wednesday midweek, we have desiring intimacy. You desire intimacy. Then we have the cat, the cat is running. Perhaps it is time now to make new friends so that you will not feel left out. Perhaps you have to take your time and don't run too fast. Perhaps you have to take time to get to know people so that you don't make the same mistakes and get blue or burned off, like burned, feeling left out, that they are not the same sort as you. This is number 12, and that means running. It is time, perhaps your bio clock is telling you it is time to move on. But to what? Get going, take action so that you can make new friends, so that you know what you want, because you might be too much in your head. With this card, well, that is quite significant. Get out of your head, focus on what you want, and focus, keep it in mind. Make an visionary board if you can't manifest it or envision it. You can move now and ask questions later, so take action. And the tarot card with this on Wednesday is the Hanged Man. Sorry, I had it upside down. Of course, I usually do, because there might be delays for four hours, four days, four weeks or four months. Perhaps you've been sitting around for four hours, four days, four weeks or four months and you're bored. You want to get out. This guy is... Um, freely hanging upside down because he's bored and he wanted to try out a different way to meditate. But he can come down out of that tree at any time. So perhaps something is being suspended. Perhaps you have applied for a membership for with a club and it's been suspended or delayed because there has to be a general meeting with the... Um, People that run the club. Wow. Okay. Okay, Taurus, don't isolate yourself. That is the meaning. This 12, 3. 
be creative. Now you go to Friday and Friday's card is desire, desiring transformation. Desiring transformation. Okay. And you have enchantment. You have enchantment number 15. And enchantment means magic. Magic is in the air. You're coming back to balance on the 6th. Uh, with 6 on on the uh, on Friday. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, it is the 6. Wow. <clears throat> it is 6 in the number. And it is 6 on is six on Friday. Okay, this is enchantment. Cast the spell that only you can weave. So cast the spell by taking action. So that perhaps cast the spell by networking, make a web so that people will come and enjoy your enchanting um, manner, your charm. And they will stick. Set your intention. Your intention will be supported by the universe. Then we've got the Four of Wands. You might be getting married or getting an invitation to a wedding. And you meet a lot of people there. Like I said, go for it. Set your web, set your, your spell. So be charming, get dressed up, look your best. These friendships, that people that you meet there could become friendships and they will be built on proper foundations. Or you might have bought a house or rented a new house. Perhaps you are moving home. Okay, just move these up a little bit. The beautiful cards. And the fourth card is desiring balance. Desiring balance. Well, I think you've got balance on the sixth on Friday. And then we've got ruling, and this one has come out quite quite significantly and that's the Siamese cats like Matis you just saw it on the table and that is six and they are bossy characters they know what they want they jump onto what they want and it's full of red petals so you might actually get love I don't know why but you are grounded in the weekend <clears throat> express your will like the Siamese does express your will keep focused look at those blue eyes they're focused on look at the tail it's alert she's ready to jump put your plans into action if you do get an invitation to a wedding then set your plans into action what am i going to wear how i'm going to do my hair blah 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 now, what am i going to buy the bride and groom for a present to celebrate and the last card is the knight of pentacles you might meet the knight of pentacles at the wedding or you might have got your heart set on being accepted by the knight of pentacles Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus, you're going to hear news, wow, keep it real, keep it real, you might be dreamy and you might think they're gorgeous, but every, remember, it's only a star sign and we're made up of a moon sign and a rising sign and planets and energies, so it, it might be your idealistic um, sign to um, to have as a partner and of course you've got two cards of pentacles perhaps you've had your eye on somebody and you feel left out by them now 
I said in other videos, I've got something new. And I'm going to also read with a few charms. I've got all the basic colours of the chakras and the white the white bead or the white uh, 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 bangle bead um, is quite a big bead. Um, is the it represents the white light that is the universe. That when you do sh uh, sh chakra clearing, that's what you have to imagine the white light. Okay, so. Well, it doesn't seem that the, he wants to stay. Okay, well, that is interesting. We've got the blue chakra, and that is Archangel Michael. That is talking, the throat chakra. Be careful what you say and how you say it. Speak your mind. Listen to your intonation. Listen to the words you choose. Now that's lying in between the enchantment and ruling. If you know what you want, use your charm. Be magical. You've got the heart on enchantment. You've got the heart. There is love, magical love. Open your heart as we've got the lock. Open your heart. You've got the key. Wow, this is the first time I've actually seen the key with the lock. So unlock that love that you have and let it come to you. You have the choice. It will, your garden will start blossoming and will be greener. Use your magic charms. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. Oh. K okay, Taurus, I hope you like that. And have a beautiful weekend. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and a week, of course. <laughs> because I was stuck in this weekend card. So go for it. Go for it. I love you all and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. Please remember to share and like. And... Um, Remember, together we stand strong. Okay, give us a thumbs up. Love you all, my cyber angels. Ciao, ciao.